so what we're learning tonight is that uh, Special Counsel Robert Mueller uh, is using a Washington, D.C.-based grand jury um, as part of his probe into Russia's meddling in the election and any possible ties of collusion between Trump associates. Um, and why that's important, you know, this is kind of a procedural step, really, in, in the grand scheme of things, because he's going to use this grand jury to issue subpoenas and call witnesses um, as he continues investigation. I would caution anybody to think that this is a very substantial, uh, you know, move in this investigation. Um, this this doesn't isn't a sign that you know indictments are, are imminent or that they've settled on charges or that they know specifically that someone is you know in trouble criminally. Um, what this is is just showing that uh, you know Robert Mueller is in a position now where he can take uh, some of the evidence that he's gathered or just you know what he has so far to a grand jury to have subpoenas issued um, and to compel people to testify potentially um, as he further the investigation. You can't read too much into this. I think everybody should kind of take a deep breath uh, about it. Um, but it, it is a sign that, you know, this is a serious inquiry um, and that uh, Mueller has, has kind of gotten to that point where uh, people are going to have to come and talk to him or give him some documents. Separately, we are uh, reporting tonight, uh, the AP is reporting that uh, Michael Flynn is amending his public financial disclosure, which is a form that people that come into the government have to fill out that discloses all of their finances and discloses their debt and things like this. And the whole point of that is to uh, head off or give the public an idea of uh, any potential conflicts of interest that they may have when they're in their government roles. For Flynn, it's a little different because he's coming back and kind of after he's left the government and was, uh, you know, fired back or was ousted really uh, back in February, um, what he's doing, a person that we've just, you know, discussed the details of this uh, filing with is saying uh, that they're doing this to be transparent and to make sure that the uh, filing is accurate. Um, kind of going back and reporting some things that they had left off the form previously. Uh, Flynn was heavily involved in the Trump campaign, and some of the things that we're learning from this new filing are that uh, he had entered into an agreement with uh, a data firm, uh, or a company that's related to this data firm, Cambridge Analytica, that had done some work for the Trump campaign. And this has, you know, on Capitol Hill, this has attracted a lot of scrutiny because part of the Russia probe is looking at uh, the campaign's data operation and whether there was any, you know, use of it in furtherance of fake news or, or other elements of this Russian meddling. Um, I should note that Flynn says, you know, or, you know, what we know about this is that there wasn't any money that changed hands. It was a very preliminary agreement and that he actually terminated it pretty quickly after the election.